Hello everyone, my name is Jessica, aka Animated Jess, and in this video I will be showing you how I drew Tracer from Overwatch. So if you like what you're seeing, please like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified when I make more videos, which I will be making more soon, um, pretty regularly actually. I know it's been a while since I made my last video, but recently I've been pretty inspired and um, you know, I'm going to be trying out some new things, actually um, diving into the world of NFTs and, you know, making NFT art um, or crypto art and, you know, making different videos related to NFTs. So if, you know, if you, um, if you are a fan of NFTs or, you know, crypto in general, um, I think you will like you know the things um that i have planned um so this this um this drawing of tracer actually is kind of like um a test run i guess in a way um because um i you know as i'm you know diving into this new field i guess i also you know kind of wanted to switch things up and try something new um so i've been you know playing around with different styles and you know, if you follow me on Twitter then you've probably seen some of the things that I've been working on and posting and so this one's kind of like you know um, I guess this is more of like a finish more polish test I guess of, of, of a new style I guess that I'm playing around with and yeah recently I've been you know pretty inspired with like um, I guess more brighter vibrant um, colors, you know, just um, something, I guess, yeah, a little bit more punchier uh, with, you know, more of a cyberpunk or, you know, just, um, yeah, I guess, yeah, like, grungy feel and um, so, so I think, yeah, that's kind of, you know, the direction that I'm going in and um, so, yeah, so I, I, I want to, to, um, I guess, yeah, give, give, um, give it a, you know, a try in a way um, with this drawing in particular because I had, you know, kind of, you know, a lot of different ideas like floating around in, in my head and, you know, some things that I was writing down and playing around with and, um, but, you know, that can only go so far. Um, I actually need to start drawing in order to um, make you know, what's in my head a reality and so it was kind of um, a scary and um, a bit of a daunting process, you know, um, because um, I, I haven't really done this in a while, I think, um, before, um, you know, when I was, you know, making, making um, art more frequently um, and, you know, if you follow me on Instagram, then you'll see, you know, the kind of, um, the kind of illustrations that I was, you know, working on, character designs and whatnot, I, I think I, I got to a point where I felt pretty comfortable, you know, I, I felt like I was, I kind of, you know, figured out a style, something that was, you know, comfortable, um, but, you know, also fit like, um, the, you know, the kind of style that I, I, I wanted to go for, so, um, so, yeah, and I was really happy to have reached that point, um, where I felt like, okay, this, you know, this is, this is me, and, you know, hopefully, like, if someone, you know, were to see my work, they'd be able to recognize it, um, and, um, <laughs> and then recently, trying, trying out something new, it's, you know, it's like, okay, you know, I guess, you know, doing that again, and, you know, I, I, I remember, um, when, when I was, when I was younger, um, and, you know, I had, you know, all these different ideas or, you know, wanted to, you know, make like fan art or, you know, reproduce something that I've seen. Things didn't quite turn out uh, to be the way that I wanted to be. And, and that, that was definitely really, really frustrating. Like, I, I remember those, I remember those times and, um, and I, um, you know, I, I'm really glad that in those moments that I persevered and I didn't give up because um, I think one of, you know, the biggest lessons that I've learned through art is that, you know, that 
failure isn't really failure, you know, until you give up because what, you know, you may consider failure can actually be a learning opportunity, right? And I think that's pretty much what art is, you know, it's just this one big learning curve and <laughs> um, there's, you know, there's always so much to to learn, you know, and um, you know, for me, like I, I stick mainly with like character designs and things like that. And so for me, it would be like, you know, learning like anatomy and, you know, and line work and color theory and, um, you know, gesture drawing and, um, and all that. And, um, which, yeah, speaking of gesture drawings, actually, like, I, it's funny because I haven't really, um, I haven't really drawn in a while, but as I was making the sketch, like it kind of, kind of came back to me, kind of pretty quickly. So, um, which I think even you know, like um, it's, it's um, kind of you know goes along with my point is that like all the work that you do, like it's, it's not, it's, it's never you know useless, you know, it's never a waste, um, and yeah, like all those you know hours or whatever that I spent, you know, making, yeah, just like gesture drawings. And I remember in the beginning, they weren't great for sure, but, you know, kind of was able to like build that like muscle memory to a point where like, you know, it was, it was much easier to do after a while. And, you know, and, and I think, yeah, like the, the work that we put in, you know, like it, it shows and, you know, and it's, we kind of, you know, it's almost like a muscle, you know, that we're building. And so, you know, for anyone who, you know, is who's an artist you know and maybe you know is you know starting out or you know still like in the early you know phases i you know i i would tell you um if you know if you can relate to the frustrations that i've described to to not give up and you know just just really yeah i think i think it really helps i think to 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 not see failure as failure, you know. Um, I think there's a there's a quote um, that I saw um, on on Twitter or something. I think it was something like, um, you know, it, it says something about like failing faster, <laughs> um, which I thought was great because um, and it actually helps me as I was making this because like I. I felt like I, 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 at one point, like I felt almost like paralyzed, you know, as I was as I was making this, because I was like, what if what if it doesn't work out, and you know, what if it doesn't turn out to be as good as I want it to be, you know? And, and then I saw that quote, and I was like, well, if it doesn't, then I should just, you know, do it, you know, faster, right? Like fail, so to speak, faster, uh, because you know, when you do that, like. Um, you can you can still learn from it, you know. Um, it's it's never it's never a waste, you know. And so um, for me, like yeah, even as I was you know working on this, um, there was you know there was I, I had a, an idea of where I was going, but I had to but I had to adjust as I was as I was working, and I would have not known to adjust unless I tried, you know. Um, and so, yeah, and I'm, and I'm sure, you know, you, you know, after a while, you know, looking at this piece and, you know, playing around with more ideas, like I can find more ways to evolve and um, in terms of, you know, developing the style. And um, so, yeah, so it's, um, it's, it's fun, you know, like I think also like, you know, like if you, if you don't take yourself too seriously because I think that's also like what I was doing as well like I was I was putting so much pressure on myself to to you know to kind of you know make this perfect um but why you know like why why put that you know why put that kind of pressure it just doesn't just doesn't really help um so I stopped taking myself so seriously and I started to have some fun you know with it um so at times, um, this, this is definitely, um, just challenging and not as fun, but like I was, you know, more like imploring like my analytical, analytical skills, um, at times, um, which, 
you know, I actually do enjoy, you know, from time to time. Um, as you can see here, like I'm starting to um, work on the shadows. And so this was definitely something that was very new for me. Um, doing the, the shadows all in black like this and um, and um, at first, yeah, before before I started, I was like, how am I even going to do this? And um, so I actually, I used um, a reference image that I created um, using this app um, for artists and it was really helpful. Um, it's called Magic Poser and it allows you to pose a model and also um, you can add lighting to the scene so um, so yeah so that's really that's really helpful um, at first I, I was going to use my handy handy tool um, I believe that's what it's called um, handy and um, but I found out that you're not able to they don't have any like full-size models in the app um, so if you're looking for something free um, to help you out with, you know, either posing or, um, or um, you know, shading, then I would recommend using Magic Poser. I think it's a pretty good app. Um, so that helps me a lot. Um, so, um, so yeah, so, um, so I used that and so that was, you know, really helpful um, and I just made it so that you know the contrast between the lights and the darks were really strong so that helped me too with making um, the shadows here um, so overall it actually wasn't too bad um, I think the process um, in my mind was a lot more daunting than it actually was wasn't too difficult um i think the only part that i was having a hard time with really was um was the jacket um at the bottom because i really wanted to um to to give it you know more um rounded look but i was having a bit of trouble with that um so so yes, I think I actually did end up spending um, some time away from the recording just playing around with it um, just to try to just to try to get um, something that um, you know I was pleased with and, um, and I think yeah, I ended up working out but I think I, I, I got a little carried away so I ended up I ended up doing a lot more um, away from the recording than I intended to. Um, and also, I remember when I was working on this part, I at one point the whole shadow layer got shifted ever so slightly to the point that I didn't notice. But after after a while, as I was working on it and I was filling all of these gaps, I was like. What is going on? And then I realized what happened, and so I had to go back to a previously saved version. And luckily, I do save all the time, so it wasn't too too bad. But it was a little bit um, frustrating, nonetheless, um, because you know, just you know, losing you know some work that you put in, you know, just unfortunate. So. Um, but it wasn't, it wasn't too bad, luckily. And I really, I really enjoyed actually, uh, like, adding the shadows, you know, to the, to the legs and, you know, kind of playing around with that and, um, so, yeah, that part, that part was fun. Um, and, yeah, and as I was, you know, working on this, I was like, wow, like, this is, you know, starting to look really developed and and I'm just using black and so that's pretty cool like I said I've never really made shadows in this way before so you know thought it was thought it was fun um yeah so 
yeah, so here, you know, just uh, continuing filling in more of the shadows. And I think um, in the beginning I did more of like a loose filling of the shadows just to kind of, you know, get an idea of how it would look like before committing to, um, before committing to, um, and, you know, really going in and, you know, meticulously like filling them in and whatnot. Um, oh yeah, so this is the part that I was, I think yeah, I was telling you guys that yeah, there were some parts that I filmed off camera and I got kind of carried away. <laughs> um, so yeah, so some of the, some of the details, um, some of the details um, that I added, um, yeah, you didn't quite see them. Um, but yeah, I did a lot of like cross hatching and, you know, like thin, thin um, ink lines for that. Which I actually, yeah, I, I really enjoyed that part. Um, and again, I was like, I don't really know what I'm doing, but anyway, it worked out actually. Um, and it was fun. Now this part, um, coloring, I would say, was the most challenging for me actually. And it's funny because when I was when I was doing this, I was like, okay, home stretch. Like, I just you know, I just need to lay the colors down, and I'll be good. And since you know the shadows are taken care of already, I was like, okay, I don't have to do too much. I just need to you know fill it in, and I'll be good. Um, and so my idea was, my, my plan, um, from the beginning was to, to, um, you know, just have the shadows in black, and then I was going to just add highlights on top of the color. Um, and so, so I thought, okay, there's not, you know, <laughs> there's not too much to do, you know, this is kind of like, you know, just coloring book right <laughs> where I I just fill in the colors you know just try not to go outside the lines um and so you know so I did that and you know so I was so I was working on it I was like wow this is not really this doesn't really look like how I really wanted to <laughs> Um, you know, even, yeah, putting this green color down, I was like, that's just, that's just not what I was, you know, trying to achieve, you know, and change it to red, and I was like, I just, I don't know about that, you know, I, I didn't really want to keep it gray, um, just because I thought it was, you know, kind of just looked a little boring, and I really wanted to, to have, like, really bright, you know, really bright colors in this piece, and um, but at the same time, I also wanted to fit together well, you know, and so, and so, yeah, so here I was like, I made the best brown, you know, just kind of just like a placeholder, but like, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll play around with adjustments later, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, this, this, at this point, like, I, I remember I was, I was kind of starting to get a little discouraged, I guess, with with the piece um i did want to um yeah pull the colors from i got a little reference there uh, i really like the colors there um but yeah just fitting all the colors together while making it still you know convincing was was difficult and i think i also had a little bit of a blocker where where it was it was a little hard for me to deviate from the original reference and i don't know if you guys or artists ever get like that too uh, if you do let me know in the comments um because yeah I, I i was like oh but this is not what the original colors were and so there was you know a bit of that hesitance that i felt um and so at this point i think yeah i just turn off the shadows and the shadow layer and the details and I just, you know, started to kind of, you know, fill it in. I wasn't planning to do everything, but I think at this point I was... I think, yeah, at this point I was just... I was having a hard time, like, really... I just didn't really 
like the piece so I just wanted to see like what you know would it be better if I, if I didn't have the shadow layer um, or the you know or the little details and so I was just trying out a lot of different things um, you know I was playing around with the color a lot and um, so yeah so you, you guys will see like all the different iterations of the drawing uh, before before I completed it um, So yes yeah, so here I you know playing around with the background and And it's still yeah, I was like, I don't know. I don't I don't really like it too much and the sleeves are yellow You know the little not the sleeves, but the you know the ends of the sleeves are yellow I don't really know if I really like that and well, I guess yeah I, you know, and I was like, okay, like, I want to make the, the hair and the leggings match. And, and, and then I was like, should the gloves match or should they be different? And there was, you know, I, I think this is, you know, kind of like that realm of, you know, decisions, right? Like, in a way, like, I, I feel like I thrive um, when my decisions are limited right so it's like i think something that would limit my decision would be if i chose to really make it you know um to make it really close to what the original looked like um but you know i i you know i wanted to to deviate and try to you know make more of my own and so at this point actually i i started to you know i actually started to like more of what I was seeing um I think yeah just like changing the color of the jacket I think that was that was really the turning point of this whole thing um I I decided that I actually preferred more of the muted colors um and then when I started you know when I started drawing the leggings or adding the details of the leggings um, I think yeah that that was really like the turning point in in this piece um, I, I had such a hard time like figuring out the colors and everything um, but but yeah I think yeah as soon as yeah I, I, I changed the color of the jacket I think that really gave me some direction and and then just kind of you know went from there like I was like okay and you know, I could still have that like neon pop like in the in the highlights, you know. Um, so I don't have to like sacrifice that per se, right? Because I like like I said, I think earlier like that was the thing that like that uh, that really um, that really inspired me, you know. Um, before you know, making this piece where the where, where the different um, neon artworks. Uh, with the bright and vibrant light, uh, not lights, um, colors, um, and um, so yeah, so I wanted to create something like that, and um, and so yeah, so at first I was like, oh, like is this okay? Like I mean, you know, it's not quite as bright as I wanted it to be, but um, but then I realized, you know, why why am I, <laughs> you know, why am I limiting myself? You know, like. If you know this, you know, is works out, then you know, so be it, you know, and um, and so I, you know, I, I decided to to just go with it, <laughs> and 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 I'm really glad that I did because I think it it actually fits really well, um, with um, you know, just the style overall, um, and so. So yeah, so I, I I'm really I'm really glad that you know I, I, I allowed myself to go in this direction. Um, so yeah, so it's it, this this whole piece like making you know this this drawing it um, it definitely showed um, it definitely showed not not only just I feel like it was it was more of like a <laughs> I don't know psychological experiment in a way um, and yeah I just you know I think it really exposed all the different 
limits, you know, that I, you know, that I place on myself, I guess, um, and the pressure and whatnot, and, um, and so it was, you know, a lot, I feel like throughout this time, which this, this piece took me like, yeah, like seven and a half hours about, um, I don't know if I mentioned that, um, there was a lot of learning, um, here actually, yeah, I, I was playing around with gradients, um, which I really liked, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that I added the, the gradients to, to this piece, um, I, I did end up changing the background at the end, but, um, but I did think that this was kind of, you know, this was fun too. Um, I kind of wanted to kind of draw the light from somewhere, you know, the, the, I mean, in terms of like the, the highlights, um, I wanted to draw from the environment in, in some way. Um, so that's why I, I kind of, you know, wanted to add some paint to the background, but I still, yeah, at this point I wasn't really sure if I really wanted that. Um, so yeah, so at this point I was like, wow, like I have like all this, you know, like, creative freedom, you know, and so it, it's kind of weird because in, in, you know, in one sense, like, I feel like I thrive on limits, but at the same time, I think limits can also hinder me. So I feel like for me, like with this artwork, it was really about finding the balance, you know, between that, you know, um, I guess, um, really, you know, learning to work with limits, <laughs> I guess. Um, hope it makes sense. Um, and let me know if you guys, you know, can relate to any of this. Um, I, you know, I love to hear from, you know, fellow artists and, you know, just your experience with drawing overall. Um, so here I decided to actually keep a lot of the background white and just having some pink, you know, in the middle. And so I was just playing around to see what's the best pattern. And I found the splatter pattern and the brushes that I was using, I was like, it's perfect, you know, tracer, graffiti. And so I just went with it and here it is. And it's the final piece. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified when I make more videos. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next one.